The things that we talk about and that are trying to figure out are the things that come to you when you're about to die. What do you think of that? The only thing there is in this life is to purify your soul so you're not afraid of death. That's the only thing there is in this life is that. That's it. You've been told it's been scary forever and people are just trying to figure it out. No, it hasn't always been scary forever. It's only been scary recently, relatively recently. Death as a scary concept is a recent fear. Death as a scary concept to a tyrant, as in Gilgamesh, is an ancient fear. To the tyrant that knows they're going to burn, they are afraid. When they know they have to answer to tyranny, and they will burn for however long it takes to burn that karma off. It's, it, listen, for me, it's not possible for, for me to believe that there is like an eternity that, that isn't a purgatory that's not burned off with time. I, it's hard for me to believe that that, that would exist. What do you got, some freaking psycho? You got, you got what, psycho mantis up there in, in the clouds sending people to burning hell? I mean, we laugh about people burning in hell, sure, sure, but you get what I'm saying. Does that sound like a logical god to you? God's gonna send people to hell. But you guys get what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. How do you rationalize with a God, even if it's a blind one? How can you? These things are the intelligence of millennia, a millennia, a millennia of intelligence that you're up against. Do you know what that means? It's not even about real people, real living things burning in hell. It's not. If you're in hell, you're a demon. If you're in hell, you have allowed a demon. To live through your body and mind and soul. Their karma is of infinite weight. They're not alive like those who have souls that are their own. It's not like you. It's a different, a completely different scale. And it's not even a scale. It's a different role. It's a completely different archetype of, of energy. When you have the adversary and the legion of the adversary, that is a different march. When you're up against a role and an archetype, that's a different march, that's a god. That means you're up against a god. And when you're towing it with a god, you're confronted with real fear. And I'm and I'm talking healthy fear. Fear isn't healthy, I know that. The word that is the fear, that is sacred, that is respectful, that is joyous, that is disciplined, we don't have a word for it in English! Reverence? Ochi, the word is not, you don't know the word. Sure, reverence is better than fear. Sure, sure, sure. What you are looking for, you can only reach and grab out of the void because it doesn't exist in the world. Awe, AK. Awe. Awful. In the sense of awful. Awful. Not bad awful, but staggering divinity. Staggering scope. Staggering intelligence. Staggering energy. You can get the word. We can get there because we reach into the word. But you get what I'm saying though. The word, it's not the word. You know how I feel about the written word. If I could go back and stop the printing press, I would. Books are time machines, Anthony? They're not. There's something else. If it was all oral, you would have the men around you protecting the word. Now, you have it printed by the outside men. Now you see? If I could go back and stop the press, I would. Hell yeah, Martin Lex Luthor, hell yeah, Hotel. Hell yes, dude. They were all like that. They were all villains. But what do I care? You know me. I love religion. And at the same time, there's a hatred for it. But it's not a hatred of religion. It's a hatred of ignorance. And a hatred of amnesia. How many lifetimes would have taken all of us to confront the dogma of the Catholic Church successfully at the height of religious power? How hard is that? Very easy. Do you know how easy that is? It's very easy. Very, very easy to do for yourself and for yours. If you want to get out there and you want to do operations, then you are a participating combatant. You're participating in warfare. Then that's a different story. Christ didn't say, everyone turn your back on the church and say that everything is bullshit. He didn't. He said, change yourself first. And then what comes next? You'll know. That's what he said. But he was still assassinated. Who knows what the reasons are? Who knows what the reasons are? Yeah, they say the sword. We talked about the sword last time. We talked about the sword of truth. We talked about what hatred is. We talked about that you are nothing when you are filled with hatred. Say what you want about Yoda and the Force, but it is the ultimate lesson. When you are shaken by fear or hatred, all of your power is turned dark. 
even if you think you're doing the shining light. The reason was perpetually unspoken in the trial and crucifixion, Ochi. I, I am no scholar. I am no scholar in an, an unraveled box, an unraveled cube. I do not know what that means. I really don't. I've got some ideas about it. Unraveling the prison within yourself. But your body, even if you unravel the cube within yourself, you're still in the cube in your body. Christ, he unraveled the cube, but he was still under its dominion. That's why he died. Original sin was the inhabitation of Satan within us. Christ saved us by letting God into our hearts. Sure, sounds good to me. That's that's a good a reason to seek to seek it. That's a good a reason as any to me. It doesn't matter if it's if it's real or if it's not. It doesn't matter. It's a good a reason as any to me. Yeah, I I actually don't understand the hate that Gnosticism gets, and I actually don't know the hate that Gnosticism gets. Yeah, Anthony, imagine owning my own hologram. Yeah, dude, that's a sketch from fucking three, four, five years ago, man. I can imagine that. I wrote it years ago. They hate Gnosticism because it yields the truth, LaCroix. The people that you think are manipulating the world so heavily are the most Gnostic, the most Gnostic individuals in the universe. Catholicism is Gnosticism too, Liminal. It's hated by Catholics. Dude, Catholicism is Gnosticism as, it, it, as well. Uh, unless you're praying to fucking Lilith or Mary or, or, or uh, you know, uh, Astarte or whatever, who the hell, what, it's, all, it's all Gnosticism. It's all interlopers. All of it. I love all organized religions, but I understand their role. I understand their role. Yeah, Mary's good, 30. Sure, sure. Where in the Bible does it deify her as, as uh, a, the, a mother of God, as in the mother of God? I'm talking above God. Where do you get that in the Bible? I mean, I'm not saying it's wrong. I studied Greek. I studied the Theogony. I studied Hesiod. Catholicism is an Eleusinian mystery religion, as is all of Christianity. I, I read my Apuleius. I know the origin of the Eleusinian mysteries. I was there! I was initiated when I read it! I couldn't believe what I was reading. I, I was like, there's procession, there's cannibalism, there's this and that. I was like, oh my god. That was years ago. Years ago, and I said, oh my god. It's a mystery religion. Gnosticism holds that God is evil, dumb, and the demiurge, fake God of the material realm, almost completely different than Catholicism. I mean, hey, I'm not, I'm not, I'm actually not refuting it. I am, I'm looking at a different basis. Putting gods over gods is Gnosticism. Putting gods over gods, gods over gods. You can call it paganism, you can call it Gnosticism, and I'm not even going to say the, uh, those aren't the real, true uh, things and in, in, in progenitors of it. I'm, I'm not even saying that they're not. I don't take anything off the table. You understand. I don't. At the top, it is Mystery Babylon. Every religion. Know what I'm saying? There's, there's one hand. You are the master of knowledge. When you enlighten, you become a god. As in, perhaps Mormonism? Then you get your own planet? It's all Gnosticism, dude. Every religion on the earth is Gnosticism. But look, I'm no expert. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Don't you get that that, that falls under everything? Where are the Cathars? Where are they? Where are the Basques? Where are they? Where are the Coptics? Where are they? You know? Where are the Zoroastrians? Where are they? But there is an idea that you are your, your thing and you can get there and become a god. And then there's you rely on God for all salvation and everything. I'm, and that's just a very simple, rudimentary. I've made it a point on not studying certain things. Let me just put it that way. But it's something to consider. Hey, look, I like Christianity. I like Catholicism. I've been around it. I know what it's about. I know a uh, Latin mass. I don't hate these things, but I understand that the Bible says there is no church and there are no priests and there is no Pope. I'm sorry. Christ said it. Christ said it. You know what I mean? See, he said it. He already said that it's all fake. He said that your future is fake. He said it thousands of years ago. Your future is fake. He said in so many words, your future is deception. So it's something to consider, and I like it all. I pine for having my head wrapped around other religions. I'm talking culturally and geographically, but if you're looking for a total picture and you're looking for communication and you're, and you're looking to remember that you're all related, and you're all from one family tree. Studying other religions and participating in other religions, it will bring you closer to that. I have no bone pick with anybody. <laughs> I mean, there are 
religious things that shouldn't be happening, but please, let's not worry about that. Christ, Buddha, Krishna, all of them, there's so many. Uh, Muhammad, Zoroaster, they all went full mode. And if you aren't full mode, you are a dead machine. If you're not full mode, you're not written in the book of life. You know what I mean? Theological beliefs contain a kernel of truth and wisdom to them, otherwise they wouldn't have been followed. Sure, Ninjan, sure, sure. When I talk to Muslims, and I mean learned Muslims, we are the same. I didn't know. I had no idea. I said, what? There are some that are more like others than other outliers, Arlen. There are some that march to a different beat. Yeah, Plastic, we're supposed to be enemies, I know. I know, man. We gotta, we gotta stop all that. All that, all those bombs going off. Where do the bombs go off? Well, either in a, in a, in a, in an elementary school or in an ancient Sumerian religious site. One of, one of the other. Hmm. Why? Those don't push any change. Those actually don't change anything. Wait, doing those two things doesn't affect any foreign policy from the United States, but it still goes on. But nothing changes, but that stuff still goes on, but nothing changes. Hmm. Interesting.